Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue working on this building a company intranet, which is an old example that I did a video on many years ago, and it's been very popular. Now we're doing the PowerShell version of it. So we have created a department subsite for each of these departments. We have uh, fixed the navigation, and now we're going to go into creating the tasks and the photos because the appointments and the documents are already there in the communication type and subsite that we have. We also want to fix the removal code. I think it's important to have removal code. So the removal code works well now, but it doesn't remove this pedaling link. So we need to get into that also. So first of all, let's start from scratch then to remove and we'll see the, the problem here. So let's run this bit and that removes of course. And as you see, all the subsites now have been removed and all the links to those subsites have also been removed, but the peddling link is still there. So let's go in to look at this and we want to remove the navigation node. As, as you see, that takes a identity. We don't know the identity, of course. Yeah, we don't want to remove all nodes either. So we need to find the identity first. So let's get all the nodes first. All nodes equals the get PNP navigation node on the quick launch. That's the one we want. And then we're just going to do a for loop there for each uh, node in all nodes. If the node title, all right, now I don't have any nodes yet, so let's do that. Let's run that code. And then we set the node object here to a node equals all nodes zero so that we can populate that object and I want to run that code. Now we can get IntelliSense. Of course we don't want to do that all the time so I'm just going to comment that one out. It's just to get that all important, all nice IntelliSense. So let's look at the title of this thing. Yes, if that equals equals the, uh, the peddling, the one we want to remove, then we got the ID of that one, right? So let's remove that one now. We have the remove node by ID, so that's good. So now we can just do remove PMP navigation node uh, identity and the node ID. So now let's run all of that. But we want the force there so that we don't have to deal with the question. Let's do this now. Run it. All right, so now we have removed the pedaling link in the top navigation also, and it's gone, great. So now it's beginning to be rather a lot of code here. So I'm just gonna put the removal code into a function so that we can minimize that. Remove all, and then we're gonna do this, there, down. So there's all my removal call code. Now we're not gonna deal more with that, now we're gonna add some stuff there. And then we have all our code there. So we can just run that to clear everything up if need be. And just run that bit to introduce that function so we can use it later. But now we're gonna minimize it because what we're gonna do now is back to the main task at hand. And that's this, we're gonna add the tasks and the photos. And that's gonna be done here in each department site when we're connecting to that department site. Let's actually put that in the comment there and then add apps. And then we're gonna use my function up here that I wrote before, create my app, which takes a list name and list URL uh, and then a app type. All right, so let's do that. We want to create my app and the list name is going to be photos. And that's gonna be of the app type picture library. And then we want to create another one. Let's do the same thing there. And it's going to be called tasks. And that's just going to be a task list. That's it. Let's see where we are in my SharePoint site. It is empty. So now we can just run the whole code here and it will create both content and links and everything. So let's just run this bit now. Loop through the departments and create the apps, create the navigation, 
and everything and oh sorry we need to run this bit also so all the bits here connect back to the root side also to do the stuff there all right now we're running this make this slightly bigger so we can see what's going on there this is the code we're going to run now so that's good let's run that refresh there here are the sites and let's see we get the navigation the navigation was the last thing to do let's see if we got any errors or anything there the tasks have been created everything is good yeah it's working there all right so now everything should be fine let's refresh and there we go let's go into the production site yeah, there we go. They have the, the photos and we have the tasks in the production site. Same thing in the support and they have their own photos and tasks also. So let's look at that and see how it works. It seems absolutely correct. All right, there we go. So we have created the uh, contents. We're all down to here now. We're more than halfway done. Thank you for watching this demonstration. Next uh, demonstration, we'll work with pages.